Okay, so let's look on our flow controls. And this is more for organization kind of, and that can work with a different type of the data. So you can reuse, for example, pull up, it's very easy. It's a one coming input. And if anything can override input, it will override and display it. For example, right now we have this. If any input coming to pull up, you notice it's taking there from override. So it just uh, almost if any signal in, it will override. Again, this is more as a flow, some logic controls. So next, we have a driver, which have it one input and base it on the output choice it can send to depend on this. So for example, if I have five of them, it can send to five different. Right here is your output choice when you can type in default value or control by input. For example, you can set on what level is um, specific highlight, for example, was selected, you can input and based on this, this uh, radial will pass to this output. Okay, same things only in reverse we have a picker which is same you have a different inputs and based on input it will be pick from those selection and send to the output again this is more flow control kind of logical next we have a switch that is will input just only zero or one and based on this it will switch between primarily and options give you output so in some cases um, it's more harder switch. We have it something very similar in the filters, but in this case, this will accept any mixed input, not just high fields. So it's going to take colors, um, high fields, or any other input as well. Okay, and next we have a checkpoint. Checkpoint is straightforward. It's amount of port, one come, one out. So it's if come primarily, it will exit primary and this way. This is more just to make you allow to control points, for example, between two different big modules, so it's to help you organize that way.